Kelly Mozamindo, and I'm currently at uh, Michigan State University studying psychology. And I live with some of your brothers and sisters. So I want to talk to you guys like a brother. Is it, is it okay? Okay. Before I start, I want to teach you guys something. When I say hello, you say what's up, is it? Hello? Hello? Wow, well, you guys are the loudest in Buiru. We've been moving around primary schools, and you guys are amazing and you're beautiful, isn't it? Keep it for yourselves. Okay, I want to share with you guys my story, isn't it? My, I did my primary school at Marketing, and I, I, I was not a good boy. I was a bad boy. You know, I used to I used to beat up people and I would pick them up and put them inside the pin. That's bad, eh? And 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 academically I was not so good. I used to be in the top bottom ten, eh? So I used to be in the group last day. You guys know group last day. Yeah, I used to be there and I was so big. Hundred percent I qualified to be in the special class. Yeah, so I used to again, those days when they would give me my report, the teachers, I'll, I'll alter my report. That's pretty how I was. So, today I want to tell you guys, Kuti, what people say about you, that's not who you are. What people can define you and say, but you are going to school. People say, they'll, they'll tell me that, Kileba, you are going to school. You cannot, you, you, you are not good enough in school. Try, try sports, try something else. But I want you to know that what people say about you, that's not who you are. That's what they think about you. I want you to know, Guti, even if you are in group last, you have potential to pass. Is it? Even if they say, but you are not good, at school, you have the potential to what? You have the potential to what? Pass. All you have to do is to work hard. Is to what? Pass. Is to what? Pass. Come on, you guys, I said you are the loudest, you're not being loud. Is to what? Pass. Wow, yeah, is to work hard. And the other thing, I used to be a shy person. I, I, I could not stand in front of people. So you know what happened? My name is Caleb. This is what my brother did. My brother gave me a name. Someone can, who wants to guess my new name that my brother gave me? Okay, you can. My new name, it starts with an H. Shy? Shy boy. No. Shy? Edge the team. Okay, my brother gave me a new name and my new name was Shailet. <laughs> but what I want to get to is that even if I got that name, that name was not who I was. He thought that I was Shailet. But it, it was his own view. So people can say certain things about you guys and say, Kuti, you are shy late, you are not beautiful, you, you are not intelligent, but that's not who you are. Right now I'm doing the opposite of what you said I could not do. So you guys, there is nothing that can stop you. You can do anything, isn't it? You can do what? Anything! You can do what? Great stuff. Okay. Then in closing, I want us, you guys know how to dare business. Yeah. Okay. So I'm gonna teach you a song. It's all I do is win, win, no matter what, then you dare. Can you try it? Yeah. Okay, let's see. We sing together. All I do is win, win, no matter what. Yeah. Okay. You guys are not doing anything that's like, okay. All I do is win, win, no matter what. Yeah. All I do is win, win, no matter what. Yeah. All I do is win, win, no matter what. Yeah. Thank you, you guys go and win. Let's get the answers.
speaking about a pregnant woman, but today uh, my message changed. Why? Because of a song that you sang. And it reminded me the last time we were in the assembly, my last words were, it doesn't take much to be a what? Ah! It doesn't take much to be a what? Do you still remember? Ah, they forgot it. Say to, say to somebody next to you, it doesn't take much to be a fool. <laughs> right, it doesn't take much to be a what? Right, let me tell you something briefly. You guys, I heard you singing that song. Right. But did you know, boys and girls, that those foolish and the wise had many similarities than differences? Why? Because it doesn't take much to be a what? A fool. Similarity number one, they were both virgins, which means that they were both principled. They were both what? Principled. Number two, they both knew it that Jesus was coming. But the Bible continues to say they were what? Foolish. Number three, they both went to meet up with Jesus. Number four, they took out their own. But why is it the Bible says somewhere why somewhere what? Foolish. This is my thinking. I think Jesus had told them that you ladies by 10 a.m. that by 10 p.m. I'll be here. So the foolish what they did was they took oil that take them up to what? 10. Why? Because Jesus what? Said so. But the wise said uh, to themselves, what if, let's all say, what if? What if? Jesus comes late. What are we going to do? Let us take what? Extra what? Oil. So the extra part made others wise and others what? Foolish. I want to challenge the grace servant. Are you ready for your exams? Someone will say, yes, yes, yes. Meaning that Knows or he knows what the teacher has taught them, is it? That's being what? Foolish. Why? Because how about if the Zimsek guys goes an extra mile in setting up their examinations? I liked the museum team. The museum team went an extra mile in knowing some of the things that you guys didn't what? No. That's going an extra what? Mile. My message today also touches to our beloved teachers. Sometimes I speak in churches. You see someone seated down, uh, maybe during payday, calculating the 10% check money to say, with sense, I'm going to pay $90.46 exactly. Why? Because the Bible what? Say so. And, uh, when I'm in church, I always say, that's being what? Foolish. Why? Because if the Bible is saying 10%, you should also go an extra mile and pay what? 11, 12. What if? What if the rents are high? So in everything that you do, you should go an extra what? Mile. And I want to urge you, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, grade zeros, ECD, grade ones up to seven. How can you go an extra mile today? I want us guys to develop a culture of reading. A culture of what? Reading. Great seven, look here, great seven. It's not normal for a great seven people to say, during lunch time, my head, my eyes, my ears, my hands, my body. Now let us eat this lunch box or this packet of my put. No ways. What you should do, your eyes on a book, your left hand on a book, your mouth and your hand, you'll be eating. That's going an extra what? Mile. After lunch, we're supposed to have one hour of study. 
But you are going to have an extra hour because you have done two things that you are supposed to do in two hours, in how many hours? In one. So that's developing a culture of reading and that's going an extra what? Mile. I want to thank you boys and girls. I want you guys to go shine out there. I know we have prayed, but it's our culture. We have developed a culture of praying. Let's bow our hands and I'm going to ask you, Mr. Caleb, you just come and give us just a brief prayer. Let's bow our hands.